Hey everybody, my name is Wellens, and today we're gonna be playing something that you guys have been consistently requesting over the years. I wouldn't say the cat lady is the most popularly requested, but this name has come up again and again and again. And um, my plans have always been to play it during October because that's my horror month. That's the one month that I let myself play horror games because I'm usually really, really chicken and I can't handle that crap. I've been wanting to do this for at least two Octobers now, but something always came up and I just never, never really got the time to do it. Recently though, I finished playing Devotion, which is another horror game, and I wasn't actually as scared as I thought I would be. And so I'm sort of wondering, hey, am I, am I slowly getting over the horror thing, or did I just have a really good few days? I don't know. So I guess we'll try to figure it out with the cat lady here. The cat lady follows Susan Ashworth, a lonely 40-year-old on the verge of suicide. She has no family, no friends, and no hope for a better future. One day, she discovers that five strangers will come along and change everything. If it wasn't abundantly clear by this description and the warning screen in the beginning, it seems like this game deals with quite uh, grim subject matters. So if you're looking for something to relax you, to make you feel happy after a long, tiring day, Maybe this is not going to be it. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true. But I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly. But they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Wow, that's a that's a really grim start. Do we start in the afterlife then or Oh look at that moon. Right off the bat, the art style in this is pretty... pretty unique, isn't it? This is... Susan? A dream, perhaps? Immediately, though, it's a big contrast with that black and white house from earlier. There's bright colors and stuff here. The landscape almost feels hopeful. Open the interaction menu, cycle available options with up and down, enter to confirm. Oh, I wish they had WASD, but this is okay, probably. I feel strangely drawn to this place. 
I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. And I can't. It's locked. Is that window broken up there? Huh. Whoa. Okay. Suddenly, very different. Oh. Parking lot? No pedestrian access. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Scared me. Okay. Paramedic ambulance. A colorful ambulance amongst the monotone parking lot? Um, I can't go any further. This ambulance is blocking access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there is no exit at all? Oh, this is some kind of metaphor, isn't it? Let's see what's inside. It's locked. Maybe like an ambulance represents help? But it's blocking you to the exit. Hmm. What, what else is there then? Do I go back or there's nothing else? I don't think so. Okay. Maybe we gotta find a key somewhere. But so far, it's been entirely linear. Huh. What's making that noise? Hello? Who's there? Oh my god. Answer me! It's okay, you don't have to answer. I'll be going now. Whoa! It's me. My cold dead body, right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? Oh. Are we sort of like hallucinating right now, dreaming? Because we took the pills and then somebody found me and the ambulance came? I look so calm. Oh, there's gonna be a key or something in here, isn't there? Is there a reason to do that? My eyes, just about one thing I liked about myself. Even now, they still shine a little. Oh, she really doesn't like herself. Yeah. Is that a key in her mouth? In my mouth? I'll better take it with me. Okay, well, so far so creepy. We see a dead body of ourselves. In the ambulance. Press down to open inventory. Select items left or right. Okay. Hoping that's the key to the padlock. Was that padlock a number lock or a key? What? Whoa! Whoa! I'm okay, but we can't go back. I wonder why this car is so red. Nothing else here has color. Whoa. Hello? Do you want me to follow you? Hmm. I guess we should try the key first. 
not long ago. Even a key wouldn't open my mouth. Hmm, she lives alone, right? So she doesn't really talk to many people. Now, I find there was one inside it. Can't see any locks here. Really? Enter. It's locked. Ah, I was a little bit off in my position. I guess that worked. What's that stuff up there? Oh. Electricity cables? The hole has been boarded up with these planks. The sign underneath says emergency power switch danger. Pull or look through? Look through? There is definitely something there. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Machine. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery after all. But you hear the heart beating though. Mm. How strange. There doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. How do you turn it on? Probably something to do with this. I'm not strong enough to pull them off with my bare hands. Um. Hmm. There's nothing else here for now. Maybe we have to follow the deer? We have to find some tools that will let me open the planks. Okay. Is this house like a representation of my heart? I feel like things so far are kind of metaphorical. Look, it's so much nicer on this side. The trees and the colors and... Mr. Deer. And the sunset. Or is it a sunrise? You can't ever really tell. Oh. This is suddenly like a mystery thriller. <laughs> the music. That car is burning! Oh my god. Whoa! Uh... My dead body, hanging from a tree. I should be scared, but I just feel... empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing on her neck? Is that... a key? Can I get it down? The body is too high. I can't reach. The rope is tied into a knot. It would take me hours to undo this knot. Hmm. So maybe we have to find scissors or something. The door seems bolted from the other side. We have to find a tool somewhere? I can't remember this place. Am I lost? Whoa. Oh my god. This isn't where we came from. Whoa! What a gruesome display. At least it's not my head stuck on the bars. Oh, the eyes are... It's locked. Maybe we get a key from the hanging body, but how do we get the body down? Ugh! Yeah, these scenes are getting a little bit mixed up, aren't they? We're back to the burning car again. Do we follow the crow? Oh, I think we might follow the crow. It's telling me to go back that way. Maybe? His left and right seem a little bit different here. They're not normal. 
Yeah, now we're back in this scene. Do you want me to go here? I guess I'll follow you. Not sure what happened to Mr. Deer. Oh. Oh my god. Is that Mr. Deer? <gasps> Who's done this? Is there anyone else here? Pull out the knife. Oh. Oh, this is the other side of the door, isn't it? Oh my god. <gasps> what? What's happening? And judging by the deer and the, the flies, it seems like the deer has been dead for a while already. Okay, well, at the very minimum, we can. No, no, no. We gotta walk closer and then use the knife. It's a hunter's knife. What? Is it on the ground? Oh, okay. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I thought I just fell through. I look like I'm just sleeping. Empty pockets. Guess I'll take the key. Thank you. That'll be all. Hmm. This is definitely some kind of dream state. We've seen various dead versions of ourselves. And a lot of stuff that seems fairly metaphorical too. Gate key. It's a large rusty key. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day like this. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But I'm curious, who do you think I am? Not someone nice, judging by how your voice sounds. A little weird. Death? Death? Mm, I don't get the feeling it's death. Are you the devil? Are you the devil? I know you don't believe in God. If there is no God, is there a devil? I'm something else entirely. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. I am doom, but I'm salvation too. I am feared by most, but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while. Keeping you company. Always there, you know? Always there. Long enough to know everything about you. Nobody knows everything about me. Not even me. Not even myself. What is this place? This, my dear, is my humble kingdom, and this house is my castle. I rarely invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest, and I'm going to make an exception. Me? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. 
Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. I don't like this. A lonely seashore. Touch it? Please don't touch anything, dear. I wasn't going to. <laughs> you lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lied to yourself. Hmm. Is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all? Certainly. For sure. But... Uh, it, it is a dream, but does that mean that she's not real? I don't know. Now we can talk properly, my dear. Hmm. I still don't really know who you are. I go by many names. I've never paid much notice to what the living call me. But there is one name the Fallen Ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. Is that what you are? Why maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Dead and gone. I guess that's me. Well, that's pleasant. Hmm. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows, I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. That sounds like too good of a deal to be true. Is there anyone else here? <laughs> Why? I thought you liked being alone. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone, and it will never, ever come again. Did something in particular trigger my current state of unhappiness or what? Like a family member dying in a car crash or something? I'm guessing because we saw a lot of car crashes on the way here, but I don't know. This lady seems like something in my head. She says she's always been there. I'm guessing this is the right one, so let's try this one first. I have no reason to live. Please, just let me go. I tried. I really did. But it's never going to be okay. Who knows, maybe, but one way or the other. This isn't the end of your story. It's only the beginning, my dear. And there are great things waiting for you. Believe me. 
The things coming out of her mouth sound so hopeful and optimistic, but yet I don't get that feeling at all. Oh, uh, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? They're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Mm -hmm. There's more to this house. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special. Just like you, only in a slightly different way. Okay. Five people. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is I have to do. Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Or people so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I am alone. I just want to vanish. This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel. Because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. If you succeed, you will never feel broken again. She sounds so depressed. Oh my goodness. And maybe in such a state. I don't know. I wanted to say that she might be easier to take advantage of, but actually, right now, she feels so depressed that she doesn't want to do anything. Those five people, who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As harmless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life, and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But... how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. So this old lady in the woods wants me to go hunting down five people who are supposedly very evil and very bad. For her? Why me? I can't shake the feeling that she's at least omitting something here. She's trying to say all these nice things, but her whole aura just says evil. Are you expecting me to kill them? 
Now, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. But I also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And the chance to save yourself. Will these parasites kill people? I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. Whoa. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. And Susan wants to kill herself, so that's an incentive for us to kill the parasites. I mean, this whole thing sounds really fishy, though. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Let's go inside. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Mm, I don't know about this. Whoa! Yes, it's you, Susan. Come close. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assume it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you count. Is this supposed to be my house? Why is this one in particular so much... Oh... It's stuck in the cross. I suppose I could easily pull it out. Oh... Crucified, all alone. In one place that's changed it all. I really don't want to be here. It's time to make a decision. The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. No. I take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. Don't you understand? There is no other way. Exactly. I'm no murderer. I don't want to be. I'll find another way without you. What? Look, I appreciate you giving me another chance. Don't get me wrong. I can see now that I've made a mistake. And I'm ready to try to fix my life. But I really don't like what you're saying. 
If there's one thing I learned in life, it's that people let you down all the time. If I don't rely on myself, I can't rely on anyone else. You fool! You damned arrogant fool! You have no idea what you have just done! Look at her reaction! But fine, have it your way. In the end, I will be the one laughing at you. I always am. I actually thought that wasn't gonna work. That they were gonna force me into a contract with this lady anyway. Huh. I don't wanna apologize like, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm wrong, I'll listen to you. I wanna apologize like, sorry, it's not personal. It's just how I wanna do things. That's all. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't want to know what's going to happen. It's hard enough without it. Thanks for everything, though. When we meet again, you will beg me on your knees to give you a second chance. I don't really believe in second chances, so I might have to disappoint you again. Look, this is all just a bad dream. I want to wake up. I'm back in the house. Okay, it'll be fine. I don't need her. I'm sure I'll figure out what to do. I have no idea how much this uh, this game diverges. Did we make a choice just now? Because we did have an achievement. Strange. The flame seems strong and steady, but there is no smoke. A sign that it's not the real world? Whoa! They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day, you'll forgive me. <gasps> oh! We blew out someone's candle! Oh, we don't want to blow out people's candles, do we? That is killing people, right? Oh, maybe we should leave them alone. Yeah, that, um, uh, hmm, I'm sorry. Oh, that guy. What the? How did I get back here? We have a crowbar, which we can open the planks with, right? Dude, I am so confused right now. What the heck is going on? I think we just killed somebody by blowing out the candle. This is like some kind of mind's palace, but for some reason, other people are connected here too. Oh. Wait, so did the lady give me the gift of immortality anyway? Even though I said no to her? Okay. Oh my god! <gasps> I can't leave! What? Oh, the machine works by blood!
We're still in the beginning here, aren't we? This is stylish in a really weird way. This is the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> 